About a month ago, I purchased this little device called the GB Operator. It's from a company called Epilogue, and it runs $49.99 here in the States. Now that I've had plenty of time to test it out and play with it for a bit, I've decided it's time to give it an honest review and a quick look on it. It's a small piece of hardware with great potential. It connects to your PC via USB-C. It doesn't have video output though, so you can't connect it to a TV to play games. It has a nice rubber sole on the bottom which is great and keeps the device from moving around too much, even though it's pretty light so you will still get some of that. I love the small form factor of it and it just sits nicely on my desk so whenever I get in the mood to play some Game Boy or Game Boy Advance games, it's there and ready to go. Inserting games in it is pretty straightforward and it accepts Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. I do appreciate the overall look of the device, and it has a somewhat premium design to it, which I'm all for. I like to view this device as a Game Boy Switch, and now what I mean by that is it's great to be able to play these games on original hardware, and when I want to keep the game going I save it and then put it on the GB operator and continue playing that game. It's pretty straightforward to connect the device, but you want to make sure you download the Epilogue playback software from their website prior to connecting it. Once the software is installed, you just plug it in and insert your game of choice. It has a little LED indicator that lets you know if the device is connected as well. Once you've selected your game of choice and have the playback software running, you'll be shown the cover art for the game. It's a great feature that I absolutely love, and it's also able to detect whether a cartridge is genuine or fake. Some of the options that are available include backing up the game to a ROM file that can then be used on an emulator of choice or move it over to a handheld like the Retroid Pocket, Ambernick, or a slew of many other options that are available. You also have the option to back up the save which is pretty great especially for Pokemon games since they rely on a battery and once that battery is dead so is your save. You can upload saves as well from games if you decide to get them off the internet that way. Getting into the settings, you'll find that there are quite a bit of options as to how you want the games to run. You can make many changes listed on here and even a feature to speed up games. There's so many to go through, but it's nice to know that Epilogue has given players many options as how they want to play their games. Here you can adjust the LED indicator and you can remove the light if you choose not to have it on. There's two more options that are coming later on, but I haven't heard anything about it since. I use the 8-bit Doe Ultimate Wireless Controller for when I play these games, which I'll show in a little bit, but it's great that you have button mapping options on here for the controllers, and if you also choose to play on a keyboard, you can make those changes as well. So back to the detecting fake cartridges. Here I have a fake copy of Pokemon Blue, and upon inserting it, the software will let you know that it is an unrecognized cartridge. Now some games will still show you the art, but I think it's on how good the fake is. Still a great feature as nowadays there's so many fake copies out there of games. So then swapping to a copy of a game that I know is legit, I am greeted by the artwork along with the official cartridge text. So let's go ahead and launch Super Mario Bros. 3 and have you guys see the performance of it. So far in my testing and playing, the playback is pretty accurate and the music also doesn't experience any slowdowns or going too fast. I've had great experience with it so far, and the only bad times were when I was trying to play some games that were fake. It would either lock up the software, or if you were trying to save the copy of Pokemon Blue for example, it wouldn't and it would just lock up. So let's go ahead and check out some gameplay footage here of Super Mario Bros. 3 for the GBA. Now checking out Link's Awakening for the original Game Boy, I want to show off some of the palette swaps you can choose from in the settings. Here I had it set to Super Game Boy and you can go in and make changes and choose, for example, Game Boy Color Green Palette. And it makes that change so you can choose how you want it to play the original Game Boy games. Since those didn't originally include any color, it's nice to see that option. I think it's really neat that you can swap between them. Now, I do wish that that option was easier to get to rather than having to go into the settings and look for that little section, but it's still great that it's there.
For me, the Game Boy Pocket Palette is probably the one that I want to go with for some of these games, just because it's how I remember playing them back on the original hardware. But if you do want to have these color options, it's awesome to know that you can switch between them at any time. So this is the controller I've been using. It's called the 8-Bit Doh Ultimate Wireless Controller. And it's great as it has the Nintendo Switch layout, but can still be used on PC by either using Bluetooth or connecting it with a USB dongle and switching it to the 2.4 gigahertz mode. The controller overall is great and it's my favorite so far when playing games on my PC or Switch. It has a nice weight to it and feel to it as well. Also the charging dock is nice so I don't have to worry about plugging in a cable to charge it. So ultimately, do I think this device is worth it when there are emulators you can just install and play ROM copies of games? I would say yes if you're one that enjoys playing original hardware and cartridges. This is definitely the option for you. If given the option, I will always prefer to play games on their original hardware, but also having an option to play those games with the same saves on your computer. It just makes for an overall great experience that makes me quite happy with this purchase. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on picking up one of these, or if you already have one, let me know what your experience is like and if you enjoy playing on it. That's going to do it for me today. Hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Rudy for the Retro Universe, and I'm out.